Cisco introduced this new security exam few months already. It's just recently that I want to talk about it. The exam is still not available and the first date to test is on November 20, 2023. This is 300-740 SCAZT version 1.0 designing and implementing secure cloud access for users and endpoints. It's a Cisco cloud security concentration under CCNP security. You probably may not heard of this yet. And this is what this video is all about. And for those who are new to this channel, welcome. I am your host, name is Dean Armada, and I am career and certification captain. And on this channel, we talk about tech careers and certifications, trivia and tutorials in cybersecurity, trivia and tutorials in cloud and data center, and my journey as an IT instructor. So feel free to check out the rest of the channel and consider subscribing. Okay, so let's delve into the exam details. So like what we had in ENCC, there are two versions. One is the web page version and one is the PDF version. Now, to be honest with you, it's almost the same. The only difference what I see or major difference that I see is the title is available in the PDF version and uh, there's a summary of the exam description. While here in the web page version, it's a little different when it comes to the exam description summary as well as the exam title it's not available here in the web page version but anyway um all of the six modules is identical okay so let's just use this web page version instead so the first module is cloud security architecture and like what i mentioned most if not all cisco courses they start talking about architecture as the first module so there's a lot of overview when it comes to Cisco security or Cisco related architecture. But here in this exam, SCACT, they talk about Cisco reference architecture. So threat intelligence, security operations, user slash device security, and many more, okay? And uh, we also talk about here, SASE integration, what else, zero trust, and Cisco Secure X. Um, they also talk about security frameworks such as NICT, CISA, DISA, etc. And look at here, we have the SAFE, Cisco SAFE. What is Cisco SAFE? Well, Cisco SAFE stands for Security Architecture from Endpoints, or for Endpoints, excuse me. So basically, it's architecture or blueprint uh, type of framework uh, by Cisco, obviously. And yeah, they included here in the first module. The first module is a little low of a percentage, it's just 10%. And uh, I can say this is not really a major uh, topics or not really major topics under this module. And if you're already familiar with Cisco Appliances, the solution, you're probably familiar with what is covered on this module. Okay, so next, user and device security module 2. Here we talk about more of an IAM, okay, identity and access management. So they talk about user and device authentication using device certificates or identity certificates, uh, authentication for both users and devices, posture policies, SAML, SSOs, etc. So basically, this is identity and access management related topics. Um, we're not seeing cloud-related technologies introduced yet. I'm not sure if they added Cisco ICE discussion here because Cisco ICE is an IAM solution of Cisco. Okay, and there's a there's a Cisco ICE cloud version as well. On the third module, we have network and cloud security. Now under here is getting more exciting because. We are talking about URL filtering. We're talking about advanced application control, network protocol blocking. So these are the ways to implement policies. But the question is, how do we implement these policies? From what platforms? Well, it's here. Determine security policies for remote users using VPN or appliance-based. Or appliance so 
I would assume that you will be creating policies in a router or other appliance. Uh, let's look at this item. It says almost the same security policy for network security edge to enforce application policy. All right. Um, they specify the platforms here. One is security service edge, which is basically a router. And one is Cisco Secure Firewall, which is your firepower and Cisco ASA. So yeah, so module three is all about implementing policies applied to these platforms. Next, before we go next, um, module two and module three are 20%, okay? Module four, and by the way, let, let's go to, hold on, module three, Okay, module one, two, and three, they haven't really talked about, at least in this description, they haven't really talked about the cloud service provider. Let's look at module four. Module four, this is where they, ha, talk about the cloud service providers, AWS, Azure, and Google Cloud. So this last item here, it says determine cloud platform security policies based on application connectivity. So this is the part that, yeah, um, maybe there's a lab or there's a discussion using this three giant cloud service providers. What else do we have here? Web application firewall or WAF to protect or defend against DDoS or denial of services attacks. Not just DOS, but DDoS, distributed DOS attacks. Now, this is interesting because Cisco, as an organization, they don't have a WAF. Yes. As big as they are, and as many security companies they have acquired, they don't have a web application firewall. Um, so how do you protect web-based or application-based DDoS attacks? My guess is, is they introduce some of their partners' solutions. I know Cisco partnered um, seriously with uh, the company Radware which is a provider of web application firewall as well. So application deliver controller and web application firewall. So this is just my hint. I don't really know what they will um, talk about under this item on module four. And what else do we have here? Uh, cloud security attack tactics and mitigation strategies. And they also talk about MITRE attack framework. Well, for those who are not familiar with MITRE, it's a knowledge base of adversary tactics and techniques based on real world uh, observations. Okay, so module four is a little interesting because this is the part where they integrate your cloud uh, service providers with security appliance or Cisco security appliances. Module five, um, visibility and assurance. Oh, let me describe Cisco XDR solutions. What is Cisco XDR? This is the Cisco AMP, or should I say the old Cisco AMP. So basically, it's an endpoint protection with a robust management platform. It's a cloud-based uh, monitoring platform. Describe use case for visibility and assurance automation. And look at this. Okay, this is quite interesting, this item. Benefits and capabilities of visibility and logging tools such as CM and... Uh, it will be interesting if they talk about Splunk here. What else? Open telemetry. My guess is open telemetry is the old Cisco titration. And Cisco Secure Network Analytics, this is this the old Cisco Stealth Watch. Diagnose issues with user applications and workload access. Analytics, insights, logging. So basically, this module is just about monitoring, observability, logging, visibility, etc. But they introduce or they talk about many different Cisco platforms. Okay, what else? Oh, they also talk about Cisco Duo and uh, Umbrella here, as well as firewalls. Interesting, but I don't know what's the relationship to cloud or cloud service provider for this module. Uh, it's only 15%. Uh, so far, it's only Module 4 that has over 20%, 25%. And this is the only module where they mention the cloud providers, AWS, Google Cloud, and Microsoft Azure. Now, the last module, Module 6, Threat Response, 
uh it's not even complete yet <laughs> as you can see 10 percent and we have four items the last items is determine action based on user or application compromise contain report remediate and reinstate reinstantiate excuse me uh all other items here is just black not so much details the exam module description is pretty interesting. Not as straightforward as ENCC though. This exam consists of six modules. This concentration exam, yeah, it's good. It's interesting because we have multiple platforms and we also have integration to the cloud service provider, Azure, AWS, and Google Cloud. But it's not as promising as ENCC. I hope I will be able to deliver this course soon as a CCSI or Certified Cisco System Instructor. There is a video titled Best CCNP Exam Combinations that I created first half of 2022. And it's already one and a half years ago. And if I'm gonna update that video, I will probably put S-Core and S-C-A-Z-T combo in the list. But I don't know, maybe... 7th or 6th place. Still soon, to be honest with you. What do you think?